In The Walking Dead, we're officially done covering the first arc of the series, so now we're going to expand out and start talking about moments and stories from all over the series, but trust me, I always have some sort of order to my chaos. Today, as Rick and his group finally make it out of Atlanta and the winter begins, they're not on the road more than a day or two before they come across a car stuck on the road that they need to push so they can continue. But as they're doing this in the dead of night, three new people walk up to the group telling Rick and the others to hold their fire since these aren't walkers. The group is led by a large man named Tyrese, and he's joined by a woman named Julie and a man with glasses named Chris. The three of them are walking through the night to try and find shelter when they saw the lights to Dale's RV, and from here the group tries to trade for some food and tries to explain how they even ended up here in the first place, with Tyrese explaining that his two companions are dating, and they originally had a nice spot, but when it started getting cold, they had to search for somewhere with heat and haven't eaten in days. Rick offers to invite them into the RV of everyone else and make space, saying it's much better to survive as a group as things are right now, but Tyrese replies that as much as he appreciates it, they'll have to sleep in a car nearby since everyone here is still strangers, but little did Rick know he might have just made his strongest ally ever. 